Hi, Camille. This is Olson. All right, so let's look at this movement in photographs assignment. And the learning target says that you're going to assemble, so you're going to put together a photo collage about movement. So a photo collage is going to be a whole bunch of photographs that you're going to find on the internet, copy and paste those, and they're all going to be about movement inside of this assignment. Okay. So the entry task says, describe how this photo about the Syrians represents the geographic concept of movement. So here we have, if we look at this photo, we've got a whole bunch of Syrians that are behind this barbed wire. They look like they are scared, they want to get somewhere. And the caption that came with this photo is fleeing terror, finding refuge. Millions of Syrians escape an apocalyptic war, creating a historical crisis. So over here, this is where you are going to write um, the description of how this photo relates to what you've been learning about with movement. So here below it, I kind of gave you a start on how you might start your description of this photo. And it says, this photo of Syrians represents movement because this group is, and then so you can use the beginning of that sentence, and then you can continue describing this photo related to what you've been learning about movement. Okay, and let's scroll down. So probably uh, one-ish, two-ish sentences for the entry task. And then for the meat of the assignment, it says that you're going to use a search engine like Google or Bing. Maybe you like a different one. It doesn't really matter. To find photographs that represent the geographic concept of movement. So here is your criteria. This is what I'm going to be looking for. I said create a collage of four photographs that represent the theme of geography that we've been studying, which is movement. So when you are using Google or Bing or another search engine, all you need is four different photographs, okay? And if I scroll down here, you are going to be copying and pasting those photos into the left column, okay? And then going back up. The second bullet says write a caption for each photograph that explains how it is a good example of movement. So one of the concepts of uh, geography. Um, here in italics, I wrote a caption helps the reader understand what is happening in the picture. And then you can use this one, which is a real uh, caption. You can use this one right here to help give you an idea of how to write your caption, okay? I said you may organize your collage any way that you would like, or you can use the template created on the second page. So all I'm saying there is that if you don't want to use this one right here, then you can create it on four different pages if you want to. It, it, does, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I said here, remember, movement explains how people, goods, and ideas move from one place to another and helps us to understand the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. Um, if you would like to take your own photographs and use those in this, you totally can. So if you want to go outside in your neighborhood um, or maybe you went to work with, say, one of your parents today and you want to take pictures on your phone, for example, that are examples of movement, then you can do that. So you can either go out and take your own, or you can use pictures that are already on the internet. And I said ways to search for photos on movement if you do use Google or Bing or another search engine. You could type into the search line, say, movement of goods, and you may come up with some stuff. Um, you could do trade, travel, people moving, exchange of ideas, or spread of information. These are just ways to help you search when you do um, your search in Google or Bing. And so when you do that, 
um, what I'm looking for are uh, photographs. So you could do Google Images and then type these into the search line. Okay, so once again, in the left column, that's where you are copying and pasting your photographs. And in the right column, you are writing the captions for these pictures so that it helps me understand what you understand about what we've been learning about with movement. Okay, and so yeah, there are four there. Now, if you have any other questions or you have follow-ups to what I've explained here, go ahead and ask. I'll be here. Bye.